Hey fifth grade, how's it going? Today we're gonna read you guys a book called Monet's Impressions. It's not really a long book, but it's basically showing like a showcase of Monet's artwork and it's mainly outdoor stuff. So you can kind of guess what we're gonna try to do today. So anyways, I'm gonna go over that book and then we're gonna do some artwork based on it. And then that's basically it. So let's get going. I'm Mr. Mill and welcome to the Dry Mill. All right, hey guys, uh, this book is called Monet's Impressions and it's based off of the famous um, artist, Claude, Claude Monet. Um, and most of her artworks are at the Met in uh, New York City, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And uh, I really like this book, I got it from the library and I uh, can't wait to read it to you guys. So here we go. Monet's Impressions, words and pictures by Claude Monet. All right, landscape is only an impression, its appearance changing at every moment, Claude Monet. In trying to capture how a landscape looked in a particular light at a particular moment, French artist Claude Monet closely studied nature and worked it directly on the spot, sometimes turning from one canvas to the next as the light changed. He and other artists in his circle came to be known as the Impressionists, a name taken from the title of Monet's painting, Impression, Sunrise, seen above. Uh, Monet wrote letters to his family and friends and often spoke about his work. Here are some of his paintings paired with his words. And sorry for bringing up the mic just now. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I paint like a bird sings. Pretty. And this is how the majority of the book looks like, by the way. In every harmony. see the texture in his brushes and his palette knife. It's really pretty. Fresh, foggy mornings. Light spilling everywhere. He was really good. Sudden bursts of sun. I can't talk today. I apologize. The beauty of the air. Flowers in the spring. Trees against the blue sea. Huge waves, splendidly wild. Snow, a white immensity. Water and reflections. Water, water lilies. A passing cloud. A freshening breeze. The sun, an enormous fireball. setting gloriously and that's the end of the book and this explains uh, just information about the paintings in itself anyways those were some of Claude Monet's paintings and uh, let's do a project based on it all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed that book I'm sure I did I forgot some of the artworks that they did um, today's lesson uh, what I want you guys to do is something very simple is um it has to be in uh, an outdoor a uh, scene i want you guys to try your best to try to draw your favorite place to hang out outside the purpose is to try to copy monet and see if we can convey any feelings of uh, our best places that we would like to be my um favorite place to be is somewhere close to home so mainly either my front yard or my backyard are my favorite place to be outside so i'm gonna draw my front yard yes there's more distractions in the front yard 
but um, I like the front yard better than the backyard. But anyways, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my front yard. Now, for you guys, it can be anywhere you want outside. I do highly suggest you guys be there where you guys would like to draw it at, but if you have to draw it inside your house, like your bedroom or your kitchen, then that'll be fine too.
Oh, still recording. I can keep going forever. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop right there. You guys get the gist of the project. So basically, what I want you guys to do is draw your favorite outdoor space. And that's basically, it. you guys could take as long as you want. Um, I can keep going, um, but I think I'm gonna stop right here because I think the video is getting too long. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>